you. All right, you know what? You want freedom so much? Fly free. Okay, where was I? All right. Let's increase how often it's feeding them. That doesn't seem to be good enough. Okay, so that that trip through the grotto didn't go well. Um, hmm. Let's try some of these other paths. Trying to figure out where to focus on right now. Uh, looks like there's a path here, but not really. Maybe it's one way from the other way. All right. That appears to be a dead end. Okay, we got a cave thing up here. I remember they were angry in here before. And then I just ran last time up here. Oh, there's another door. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Ow. That was a, the crunchy sound of him biting my face. All right, so past experience tells me I need to find another giant pink slime and get a pink key from it to open that door. Your face is crunchy. Maybe, maybe it's like, got your nose, crunch. No, it's really late. No, really, I should go to bed for you here. Bye, have fun, enjoy, good later on. See you, flower. Snow Crow's Sarah's kill was a butt clutcher. Did you just see the clip? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the, <laughs> the whole fight's kind of a... The whole 10% to zero is kind of a butt clutcher. Okay. Also, we haven't found the map for this area yet. Wait! Puddle slime puddle plort. Keep one in your boot and you'll always stay cool, but it's weird. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's a new one. Diet water. Favorite none. None. Rare species of slime that live in fresh water pools found on the range. These slimes don't eat fruits, veggies, or meat. Instead, they absorb water into their bodies while they sit on the surface of a pool. They need fresh water to survive and quickly evaporate if left on any other surface for too long. Puddle slimes aren't risky to manage. They just require a fair bit of maintenance. A rancher needs a pool of fresh water like a pond available for puddle slime and its plorts to sit in as they will evaporate away from water. Finally, they are exceptionally shy and will not produce plorts if they're in close proximity to more than three other slimes. So, okay, do, do I literally just put him in the pond that I built? Is it that simple? Yes, okay. All right. As I, as I was reading that, I was like, all right, I either put it in the pond or I put it like next to the pond. Can they be combined with other slimes as normal? No, they can't. This is another door here. 
All right, so there's a door there and a door here. All right, so they 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 stay one type. What is that? Well, I guess it was like rotten food or something. They don't eat plorts. Okay, but could I take a puddle plort and feed it to something else and make a hybrid? Because, like, I've got a puddle plort. Oh, let's just try it out. Hey. Oh. Do you want to eat this? I guess not. I hope it won't evaporate while I'm carrying it. That would be really unfortunate. I wonder if I could jetpack over there. Let's do a little test. Yeah, I think I could. Nice. The sheer audacity of walking up to another slime and being like, do you want to eat this? <laughs> Don't hate the player. Have you ever been in love, Beatrix? Makes you feel all achy inside, like a day after your soul's been to the gym. That's the best way I can describe it anyway. It also realigns your thinking to something you swear is downright alien. All those things you thought really mattered suddenly don't. Changes you entirely. Can't recommend it enough. Do you want this poop? Bomb cats. I just realized though, a pond can't have an auto plort collector. So I'm gonna have to get that myself, won't I? I'll have to like collect them myself. Bomb slimes remind me of mine turtle. <laughs> Reminding me about literally like every ASDF. It has been a long time. I'm gonna do an internet. Whoa! I'm gonna do a book. Oh. I like trains. Where am I? There. Oh my. Hello, hello, Sir Plodrick. Is that the teleporter I used to go home earlier? I don't remember. Hmm. This place is very hard of thorns. Oh, 
god. Oh god! Don't kill my bottle slabs! Uh... Fudge, this place is confusing. I wish the map would open up already. All the way back here. All right. As long as there's no pocket raptor slimes. I mean, I can't rule them out. We found out there was something called a hunter slime earlier. Maybe those are raptors. We haven't played enough of the game to say that there's definitely not raptors. It remains a possibility. I highly advise you have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling what's ahead. The land is all broken and twisted, and there's plenty of feral slimes about who you won't see coming before they blast you right into the sea. Keep those peepers peeled. Uh, was I supposed to... Was I supposed to come from this direction? Eh? Hmm. Which lane are we in for slime gar Slime garage. <laughs> Slime Garot. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, God! What the? Feral sl Okay, they turn invisible? Maybe that's the hunter slime. It turns invisible. Oh, this one looks so happy. Honey Hunter Largo. I found some hunter plorts. I could do that, I could feed that to some of the others. I haven't found just a hunter. Ow. some more hunter plorts so I can use those to breed some slimes at home. I don't know what I would combine with them. Honey hunter. Eats fruit and meat. Oh god! Boom Hunter. What is up there? Briar hand. Oh, it's like chickens. Okay. We are so far from home. Still haven't found the freaking map of this zone. Tabby slime. Oh. We're back to the friendly little dudes. Okay. I gotta log off to watch Anatomy of Fall, two more best picture nominees to go night night. Good night. See you, Vandal. Uh, 
I watched the latest episode of the Freyrin anime today, chat. Freyrin Friday. It's pretty good. For anyone who hasn't seen it, it follows the whole trope of, like, there was this party of adventurers and they had to go fight, like, the Demon King or whatever to save the world. And they won. That's episode one. There was a human knight leader, there was a dwarven warrior, there was a human priest, and an elf mage. And the story follows the elf, and a hundred years later, the humans are dead. Because elves live like a thousand years. She's alive and the dwarf's alive, but the dwarf's old because he doesn't quite live as long as elves do. And it follows her adventure. And you know that cringe you feel where you were like, hey, that guy or gal I was talking to like 20 years ago, was, was she, were, were they flirting with me? She's feeling that. She's realizing like a hundred years later because she's, she's a freaking dork that the hero was constantly flirting with her and she missed it. Like the whole thing. Oh, teleporter. And she's, like, insanely powerful because of how long she's been alive and she's a mage. And also, she's, like, a total dork and doesn't, didn't, she didn't realize, like, a hundred years that someone was flirting with her. <laughs> it's got, it's kind of close to home. Uh, it's a very entertaining anime, and occasionally, you know, they have some fight scene where, you know, she's like, you know, she busts out, one, you know, thousand years of uh, mana she's been saving up and just, like, bodies somebody. It's, uh, you know, they're, they're like, all right, let's use the whole budget on this episode. We're home. So, do recommend it. Muck luck recommend. Your new home. All right, got some ornaments. Do they just hover in the air? All right, we got some hunter plorts. Uh, gotta figure out what do, what do we want to combine the hunter plorts with? I don't, I think the hunters probably eat meat. Oh man, this tank is completely full. But we're gonna feed them anyway because we gotta make sure that they don't starve to death. I just wanna see that concept in Elven Prison, the idea of what would happen to the human being under arrest for 40 years for basic crimes. Oh god. You're charged with pickpocketing. Serve an 80 year sentence. I, I'll die. Should have thought of that before committing the crime. How dare you jaywalk 20 years? Oh my god, there's so many mitmangos. Also a chicken. Uh, where's the feeding thing? Oh, I didn't make a feeding thing on this one. Auto feeder. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Weird. Okay. Uh, hmm. So I haven't actually seen a hunter slime all on its own. I only saw hybrids. So I'm not sure what hunters can eat. I'm guessing it's a meat, a meat eater. So I could combine it with a pink one, so it'll eat anything. But I don't know what its favorite's gonna be, or a rock one. Those are easy to feed. Where'd your station wagon go? I'll be back on that Monday morning. Meat and briar hens are their favorite. What do I want to 
fine with it. I'll just get some stone ones. Mm, there's some phosphors. What was that show called? Uh, the one that I was describing? Uh, one sec. You know, you know how anime names are. Give me a minute. I am going to copy paste it into your chat, my Synology. So, so no fragrant is the Japanese name. I don't know what it translates to, but that's the name of it. If you just punch that into Google, you'll find it. Get Muck a 10 gallon hat for that ranch. <laughs> I'm trying to find four more rock slimes. I still don't know how to open those treasure things when I find them. Okay, there. Perfect. I got seven rock slimes and seven hunters plorts. That'll do. And that means no matter what the hunters thing favorite is, I can just make a uh, garden next to it that's the rock slimes favorite, and that'll be fine. All right, so rock slime and hunter's port. Rock hunter Largo, diet veggie and me. Did it give me the information on the on the hunter? I don't think it did. I think I still ha because I haven't I still haven't seen a pure hunter. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, did I did I put a roof on this one? Airnet. Purchase airnet. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? You get a music box because you already scare me. What the heck? Does it have an attack? All right, rock slime. Dude, it's like body slamming. This is worse than the explosion, guys. What is happening? All right, let me get, let me get some food. I want to feed it, yeah. Stop! I'm trying to give you food! Nice! Now they're just exploding happily. I mean, I can understand that. What's a happy explosion between friends? Oh my god, dude. What is... What are the what what is this? Wait, I need one oh God. <laughs> I need one of these. No! Not you. That. I needed a heartbeat. There we go. Great. Okay. We're gonna make another garden here for this. Mm. 
there. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so I still gotta find a purebred hunter so I can get information on it. A purebred. They're fine. Can you grow chickens as a crop? Uh, not as a crop. You don't just like put the chicken in the ground. <laughs> you can make a corral and I do have one. The way you said that was pretty funny though. Hey Mike, love you work, thank you. Hey Tony, thank you for the kind words. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've got a chicken coop here. As long as I got the boy chickens and the girl chickens, they keep making more chickens. Uh, okay. Let's... Hold on. Is there another call? What's this? He wants chickens. I think I've got those? Alright, hang on. Alright, so I'm guessing that's the hunters? Yeah. Oh, cat stonks are going up. All right, uh, let's see. New upgrade available, Power Core Mark III. Nice. Why is that suddenly available? The upgrades seem to just pop up at random moments. I'm wondering if it's just like gameplay or if there's something else that's triggering it. Oh man, really need some hired help on the farm here. Good lord. Liquidate some of this. I'm imagining like an actual farmer or rancher playing this game and after five minutes being like, this is not how easy it is. All right, let's just grab all of this for a second and see what we got. One roostro, all right. Two of the, yeah, we could do this. Wait, what? <laughs> is that not what he wants? What is that? That's a stony hen, what is that? It's not a hen hen, apparently. I've got some elderly chickens. I guess I can feed them to the, uh, the other thing. Murder the elderly. <laughs> it's called to the lamb all over again. All right, we know who would like to eat these. Hunters gotta hunt. Okay. 